welcome to the Hoops Family Network. Today we're going to do a little celebration with Easter, so stay tuned. Cue the intro. Welcome to the Hoops Family Network. Today we are going to decorate Easter eggs since it is going... You are going to be viewing this on Monday, so you're going to see it the day after Easter. This little kit was like, it's like, bucks. how much? Three bucks, I think. I think it was like three bucks. It was very cheap. It's an Easter egg DIY kit. You get, um, there's no cooking required. You get bright colored non-toxic dye and 100% recyclable recyclable Easter eggs. You could use these, you know, for many years after. Um, it talks about mixing your colors. And literally all you gotta do is place an egg inside the plastic bag, add a few drops of the liquid dye, swirl the egg around while holding the bag shut, add more dye as needed, and then you put the egg back in the cart so it could dry. So it's fairly easy. I'm going to link the um, an affiliate link to these down below if you would like to try them out. So um, yeah, if you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing. We welcome all and everyone. And make sure you come and let me know you join the family. Comment below so we could get to know each other and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and hit the notification bell that lets you know anytime we post the video and share this out so others can see it what the bad news about the die it's okay so let's get into the video So after opening the kit, you have your plastic eggs, I mean they're like ping pong balls, and then it comes with the liquid dye and the bags. So it comes with everything you would need, and again here's no cooking required, the bright colors, and 100% recyclable. All right, now we're gonna time lapse this and we'll show you our end result. Finalized product. 
So that is going to conclude our video today. Um, go ahead and pan down. So the you got to see our finished eggs. This is all the mess we had. Even though we worked on top of paper towels, all the mess was in the bag, so that was nice. Um, clipping the corners of the paint helped to make it easier to drip. And as you could see, I washed my hands and they're dyed a little bit, but that's okay. It It's coming off. So even if you got it on you, they recommend you not getting it on your clothes because I believe it will stain, but we wore old clothes anyways. I like doing this better than the typical drop the egg in the vinegar water. This just seemed more, um, there was more paint. This kit was like from a year ago that I happened to forget that we had, but I seen them at Walmart. So we may have not had as much paint as we would have had if we used it brand new. Um, I like this kit and I think I want to use this more. It's just more, um, more practical. Your mess is contained in here and it, it's more fun to roll it around and then try to go fishing for it out of vinegar, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that it's this way is better, but if you enjoy, you know, less cleanup, I think this is definitely, you're not dirtying coffee cups and having to buy the vinegar and everything. So thanks for watching our video today. Um, yesterday was Easter. Happy Easter to you if you celebrate and I hope you enjoyed our video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, have you tried this kit? And share this out so others can see it. And we'll see you in the next video. Remember, opportunities are created. You are the creator of those opportunities. Go out there and make your dreams come true. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.